determine the values of x where the sequence converges. So what is the condition? What value of r? What is the ratio that we need in order for a sequence to be converging? Well, 3.1.1, we need r to be between minus 1 and plus 1. If r is between minus 1 and plus 1, our series, our sequence converges. So take a look. r is equals to t2 divided by t1. We can even use t3 divided by t2. No problem there. But any two consecutive terms. So in this case, our t2 is 4 multiplied by x minus 2, everything to the power 3. And t1 is 8 multiplied by x minus 2, everything to the power 2. Okay, so let's take a look. t2 is 4 multiplied by x minus 2 to the power 3 divided by t1. t1 is 8 multiplied by x minus 2, everything to the power 2. So these two here are the same, okay? So we can say 3 minus 2 because when you divide the same basis, we subtract the exponent. So 4 divided by 8 is 1 over 2. And we're going to be left with x minus 2 because 3 minus 2 is 1. So essentially, r is equal to x minus 2 over 2, right? So this, we needed this to be between minus 1 and 1. So let's substitute it in our condition. So minus 1, r is x minus 2 over 2. And it should be less than 1. So what can we do? We can multiply both sides by, well, all sides by 2. If we do that, we get minus 2 is less than x minus 2. And x minus 2 is less than 2 okay so when we multiply by 2 2 and 2 will cancel out right we just get x minus 2 and then minus 1 multiplied by 2 is minus 2 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 obviously so from here on where do we go we can add plus 2 on all sides so minus 2 plus 2 will give us 0 and then here x minus 2 plus 2 will also give us 0. So we have x here. And then 2 plus 2 will give us 4. So when x is between 0 and 4, our sequence converges. Let's just go through the problem again and see if we're not making any mistake. So t2 is 4x minus 2 to the power 3. No wrong doing that. t1, x minus 2 to the power 2. And then we're multiplying by 8. Everything is fine. 4 divided by 8 is 1 over 2. And then we're going to have x minus 2 on the numerator. So up to this point, everything is fine. We put it in place of r. So we have x minus 2 divided by 2. We multiply out by 2. Totally fine. And then again, we add a 2 on both sides. We get x is between 0 and 4. That seems to be fine also. So there we go. That is 3.1.1. When x is between 0 and 4, this sequence will converge. What about... 3.1.2 determine the sum of infinity of the series if x is equals to 2.5 okay so we know that r is equals to x minus 2 over 2 okay and we are we want to determine the sum to infinity if x is equals to 2.5 so 2.5 minus 2 divided by 2 let me just put that in my calculator. 2.5 minus 2 divided by 2. I get 1 over 4. So that is the value of r. Okay. If x is equal to 2.5. So the sum to infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r. So what is a? Okay. No. Now we need to determine a actually. Because we know that t1 is 8 multiplied by x minus 2 to the power 2. But we can just do it in one step. It will still be fine. So let's have 8 multiplied by 2.5 minus 2 squared divided by 1 minus r. r is 1 over 4. So the sum to infinity is equal to 2. So let's see. 8 multiplied by 2.5 minus 2 squared everything divided by 1 minus 1 over 4. I'm getting 8 over 
3. So the sum to infinity that I'm getting here is 8 over 3. I think we can just leave it like that. We don't have to write it in decimals. Okay, 3.1.2. What about 3.2? 3.2.1. Uh, we're given some sigma notation there. Let's see what is happening. How many terms are in this series? Okay, we know that when we have something like this, the number of terms is equal to the top number, right? Minus the bottom number plus one. Okay, the top number is 12. The bottom number is three plus one. Okay, so 12 minus three plus one, 10. So we have 10 terms in this series. There we go. 3.2.2, calculate the sum of the series. Okay, so the sum of the series, the way I answer this question, I actually um, find T1 first, right? I find T2 and, okay, I think that's all. Because if I have T1 and T2, I'm going to have the value of A. And with T1 and T2, I'm also going to be able to find R, okay? So let me find T1 and T2. T1 will be equal to 3 multiplied by minus 2 to the power 3 minus 2. Why am I substituting 3 first? Because we started k is equal to 3. So we have to respect that. So 3 multiplied by minus 2 to the power 3 minus 2 minus 6. So T1 is minus 6. Let me find T2. T2, I'm just replacing 3 with 4 and I'm getting 12. So there we go. I have T1 and T2. Then we go ahead and find r. r will be close to t2 over t1. So that is 12 divided by minus 6, which is equal to minus 2. Okay, so I have r and I have a, which is t1. What is the formula that I need to use? Let me go to my formula sheet and see. Um, hope is here. Okay, um, there we have the sum is equal to a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Okay, different equations papers usually have different forms of this equation. So that's why I'm checking, right? Um, but does it have to check either way? Okay, so do we have a? Yes, we do. A is, so we're looking for s10 here, the sum of the 10 terms in this series. A is the first term, which is minus 6. r is minus 2. So we have, okay, let me open this square bracket instead. R is minus 2 to the power 10, right? Because we're interested in the 10 terms here of the series. Minus 1, everything divided by R minus 1. R is minus 2 and minus 1. Okay, so what is the sum of the 10 terms? Let me substitute that in my calculator. Minus 6 multiplied by minus 2 to the power 10 minus 1 divided by minus 2 minus 1. 2046. So the sum of the 10 terms is 2046. There we land.